Okay, thank you guys for coming up today. There's plenty of room, and it's good to see you all. Um, I, uh, I wanted to talk to you about clothing today, clothing, and everybody look over at Mallory for just a second. You see Mallory sitting there? Wave, Mallory. Can you do that? Wave to us. See, Mallory's over there. She's wearing special clothes today, isn't she? What is she wearing? Church clothes. What kind of church clothes? Is it, it's a blue robe, right? And she's got something really pretty around her neck. Like a, it's called a stole. You see that's green? We can tell what Mallory's going to do by the clothing she's wearing. If somebody's wearing that clothing, what are they going to do in worship? Audrey? They're going to light a light. They're going to light. Gonna light the candles. We can all, look at all those people. Stand up for a second. Stand up. Go ahead. Stand up. Can you see all the people behind me? Look at the people back there. What color robes are they wearing? Purple. Right. And we know when someone wears one of those purple robes, what are they going to do? They're going to sing and make beautiful music. Right. Go ahead. Sit down. I brought, I brought, I brought something else, too, to show you. We can tell if I put this on my head right here, we can tell what I'm going to do. What am I going to do? Bike. I'm going to go bike riding, aren't I? Not going to go swimming. Uh-uh. Maybe go skateboarding, right? And if I put this on, what, what is this? If I put this on, what am I going to do probably? I'm probably going to cook something real yummy, aren't I? You think so? What if I have, we can tell what someone is going to do by the tools they have or by the clothes they're wearing. Now, what if I took these out of my bag and went, <laughs> yeah, you know that if I pull these out of my bag, I'm going to do some cheering, right? Two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? You and you and you get appreciated, and you get appreciated, right? Everybody gets appreciated, right? So why would I be bringing pom-poms and talking about cheerleading today? Guess who is the best cheerleader of all? You're right. God is. That's absolutely true. That's our message today. God is the, our biggest cheerleader because what a cheerleader does is say, you can do it, and you are awesome, and I love you, and you uh, can, can do something really wonderful. And that's what the Bible tells us. Every time we read the Bible, we hear stories of God telling us, you can do it. I believe in you. And that's really what a cheerleader does. So we don't think of God maybe with pom-poms, but that's okay because that's not the only way to be a cheerleader. And the Bible, we come every Sunday to hear the Bible and study the Bible to remember that God is our biggest cheerleader. Okay? You remember that. Will you do that? Let's fold our hands and we'll pray together. I'll say a line of a prayer and you repeat after me. Dear God, Dear God thank you for being our cheerleader and encouraging us in everything we do. Amen. Thank you guys for coming up. And Miss Hannah may want most of you.